welcome back to our channel guys if you're new here we're richie laura frankie and freddie and you join us as we continue to travel the world in our camper van kev with our dog luna and rabbit hopsy this week we have our first turkish breakfast before stopping at one of the best campsites we have ever stayed on you will also get to see the hospitality of the turkish people and why we are already falling in love with turkey we hope you enjoy it we're just on the way to where we're off to today, which is um, a nice little park up about an hour and a half away. But we're a bit hungry, so on the side of the road, there's a long line of restaurants. We thought we'd pull over. Um, there's a little Turkish lady who is waving us down to this restaurant. So we pulled in here. Um, we've ordered a bit of a mixture. I'm not too sure what's gonna come. But yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be lovely. And another good thing about today is our 10 year wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. So the first lot we have out, we have some olives, some jams, some cheeses, some honey, um, some butter, some chutney over there, tomatoes and cucumber. You can see why everyone loves the Turkish breakfast. At this one, we have Sir Jack, and then the famous Turkish tea. Yeah, perfect. Yes, please, thank, thank you. you. Tea secular. <laughs> that looks very good. This is our first Turkish tea. <laughs> so I'm not sure what this one here is. Looks like some sort of scrambled egg dish. You can't beat picky bits. <laughs> Stop it. So Laura's gone for the cheesy one. I think it's cheesy. Good. Yeah. And even the boys are trying a bit of everything. So I think we found the ultimate combo. It's a bit of the cheese and a bit of the chutney. Game changer. Mm. Even Fred's enjoying it. Fussy Fred has found a breakfast he actually quite likes. Hey, bubs. Like it, Frank? You're going to uh, do it the right way, babe. Oh, he thinks he knows how to do it. Oh, hey. Richie's turned into a professional. <laughs> to have some savoury bits and some sweet bits like it's like you wouldn't have that back at home you wouldn't have like olives and stuff for breakfast would you and then with honey and jams and stuff like that it's really really nice it's so good to see the boys trying everything i never thought fred would try it no the flies are a bit of a pain but yeah. I think after the past few months, we're used to them now. We're Anything like donkeys, goes. so they crawl, low, crawl all over your eyeballs and stuff. So they don't even phase us anymore. <laughs> Making our way through it. I don't. I, it's just such a big breakfast. So that was really, really good. I'm absolutely stuffed and can't fit no more in. They're so nice people, though. They're really friendly, and it's just nice to be around um, Turkish people. Um, so yeah, that's the first of many. I'm sure we'll sure we'll have some more along the road. <laughs> so nice to be out and just celebrate our anniversary. <laughs> so that was so reasonable. It was 300 lira, which worked out at about 14 pound 23. Um, so for a big old breakfast for four people, um, the boys even had two cokes, so them back at home are like two quid, so I, I don't even know how they afford to make the food, like, the food, it's ridiculous isn't it? And there was so much of it and we didn't even eat it all, we could have fit another two people around that table yeah. and it still would have been enough. Unbelievable prices and unbelievable quality as well, all homemade, just amazing. Yeah. And if you're going to get a Turkish breakfast, definitely do because they have um, the most amazing jam. It was just on another level, that jam, wasn't it? Like, I don't really normally like jam back at home, but... We're 
whole that thing was really nice. Yeah. The only thing um, we thought is getting a gold's lemme with it. We haven't tried a gold's lemme yet, but um, we've we've seen so much about them, so we're really looking forward to trying a gold's lemme. So that might have to be lunchtime. That one. Yeah. <laughs> the Turkish um, language is a really hard language to learn, and we've really struggled from leaving like France, Spain, and Portugal. Uh, we can kind of get by there, and you can learn quite a lot of the words. And so by the end of the country, they sound quite kinda, similar, don't they? Yeah. You kind of get the gist of what people are saying but the more we've come down through the Balkans absolutely useless with our language there and then Turkey is pretty much the same we're trying to pronounce thank you and it's, thank, it's a hard one to yeah, remember it thank even, you uh, hello is about. easy mainly because of Tread the Globe they're always like mahaba mahaba yeah. so that's easy I remember that but yeah. thank you is a tricky one yeah it is it's a difficult language to learn so hopefully throughout this next three months we can try and um, pick up some more Turkish to make it's quite a hard like language barrier when you're trying to order food and they have not a clue what you're saying all we can say is thank god for google translate <laughs> So we've just pulled up at the gate and it's called Campolani. And what it is, it's an animal rehabilitation centre. Um, it's an animal hospital. There's wildlife walks. Um, we can camp here. It's all free as well, but you can only stay for five nights in a month. But uh, we've just pulled up at the gate. We're not too sure what to do, but, um, well, we wasn't too sure what to do, but a guy's just said we you have to go and get a camping card from up there. So Laura's just gone to get that sorted, and hopefully there's space for us to go in. Here she comes. Is there a spot for a little one? Perfect. So luckily there was room for us in camp. So we've just parked up, got all set up, the boys' beds up. Our bed's always up. And we're just going to have a nice chilled one today and get ready to show you around tomorrow. Popsy's enjoying a pear, which has gone a bit manky. <laughs> he likes it, though. To be honest, looks like it's fermented. He's probably going to be drunk after that. <laughs> Morning, guys. So we've woke up this morning on the campsite. I was just sitting outside on the bench doing a bit of editing. Um, and I got speaking to, there's a Turkish camper next to us and I got speaking to the man. And what a nice man he is. He's gave, given us a lot of recommendations to go, saying if we need anything, he's more than happy to help. Um, and then he wandered off and he come back and he's just brought us some nice fresh bread from the shops. I'm not too sure what they're called. They're like a round donut type thing. Um, but they smell lovely and this just sums up the hospitality of the Turkish people they are unbelievably friendly and this is why we've been looking forward to it so much and this is it if only you could smell it because it smells lovely so following on from yesterday's Turkish breakfast we really enjoyed dipping bread into honey and jam we haven't got no jam, but we have got honey from Jeremy Clarkson's Diddley Squat Farm back at home <laughs> that we went to last year before we come away. Um, so, why not? Give it a good dip. Mm, tasty. After that lovely breakfast this morning, we are now walking into the animal park. So I think I explained a little bit about it yesterday. Um, I said that there's an animal rehabilitation centre, an animal hospital, there's a zoo, there's some nice sort of nature walks through the forest, I think. There's quite a lot to do. But the best thing of all, they have a doggy daycare. So um, you're not actually allowed to take your pets into the park because it's disease free and they're worried about you bringing diseases in. Um, or your pets bringing their diseases in. They actually have a doggy daycare, which is perfect, so you don't have to leave your animals anywhere. This is where little Hopsy is staying, in number three. The man just come out, gave us the key for number three and said the rabbit goes in this one. And number one, Lulu goes in, which if anyone knows our dog, our big German Shepherd, 
I didn't think number one would quite suit her. He actually meant number one over here. Lulu's got her own little bit. How cool is this? Lulu gets to stay in the shade in a big hotel for Lulu. It's brilliant. Ah. <laughs> about this place is the camping's free, um, the zoo is free, everything here is free, even to put the dog in the pet hotel is free, it's unbelievable. Um, I think it's government run um, and they're just, it's just amazing isn't it? <laughs> yeah so thank you very much Turkey because this is brilliant Yeah. and more places need to take a leaf out of your book, this is really really good. It's brilliant. So here's a few of the animals they have at the zoo. They have sheep, alpacas, goats, donkeys, llamas, horses, kangaroos, ostriches, ponies, zebras, rabbits, raccoons, peacocks, loads of stuff. Even some monkeys down there. Oh, look at the little baby goats. Must have come from the dad over there. <laughs> Llama drama. Pretty little thing. You're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Ordering a cup of love. Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong Size of these Boys, a day to jump on its back. A day to jump on its back. The zebra don't want to turn around, unfortunately, but he's there. So there's also a little restaurant calf type thing on site. This isn't free, but it may as well be. We've got a donna wrap, a chicken wrap, chips, burgers, drinks. Come to eight pound. How cheap? <laughs> what a cheap day out. Good boys? Yeah. There's also a nice sized children's play park right by one of the restaurants where the children can burn some energy. Ormania Wildlife Park has something for all ages and is well worth stopping off at once you're through Istanbul. Look at these. We should have brung hops, he would have had a field day. <laughs> Loads of them. And in there, little babies. Raccoons here as well. Look at them cute little things. I reckon we could make space in the van for one of them. can only just about see this one over the back but we, we've been waiting oh there he is we've been waiting for this this is the extremely rare pigeon I knew Laura was coming it's a bit unfair I think this deer's got to be one of our favorite things yet I thought the ant was in the very fluffy 
This one likes us, he keeps following us. You don't want us to go. I still can't get my head around the fact that all this is free. So good, look at all the colorful bird boxes behind us. It just makes it look beautiful. There's bird boxes, bee boxes, loads of deer. We've seen everything today. So the red deer and the roe deers living in this environment here are all released back into the wildlife to support wildlife populations back into Turkey. So it's doing all good things. There's um, actually a rehabilitation centre here. So um, they get them fixed up and then released back into the wild. So it's just an amazing place. It's definitely worth a visit. So much to do. Um, there's even nature school days that you can do. You have to um, apply online. Um, I think it's like they do like days through the month, um, maybe like four or five different things. Um, I think we've just missed um, a chef day where they take you out um, and show you um, different plants and stuff and take the kids back and cook with them and make medicines out of the plants that they've got so it's really really interesting for the kids to come um, it's definitely worth a visit so i think we're almost back at the start now time to pick lou and hops up i bet they've missed us we haven't been away from them for ages so this is where hopsy is in in a big one down here it's hopsy hello hops i think laura's got to get in there to get him where's our little choo choo she's missed us she's missed us hello and here it is, the pet hotel. Hello, pup pup. Oh, I think she's excited. Did you think we we're going to leave you? We wouldn't do that, would we, our little baby girl? Oh, she happy. Frank have just left the camper van with Richie and Red in it. They didn't want to come. Um, we're on a special road trip to get some FS, but we waiting for a taxi, couldn't find one, the man tried to order one for one um, and I don't think there was any available so he's decided to take us to the, <laughs> take us to the shop, thank God, um, and then we'll hopefully get back in no time. So I thought I'd show you the toilet and shower block, really good showers in here as well, I had one yesterday, lovely hot water, not overly powerful but nice. Yeah, that ain't really. So we've got back from getting the beers and we've just come back, stopped for a little snack for the boys and some crisps for us to nibble on. And Frankie just got given two little guns from the grandfather that, of these people next door. Oh, I'm not joking. If you haven't been to Turkey and experienced this type of love, um, you need to get here because every person just sort of blows you away with their kindness it's it's unreal it's just made us want to stay on campsites a lot more because the kids are getting to interact with other children um so i think from now on um our goal is to stay on more campsites and luckily enough there's one um turkish boy that speaks really good english so he's relating um to the other turkish boys what frankie and freddie are saying but not only that he's teaching them some turkish they've asked to play hide and seek so then he's teaching the boys how to say hide and seek so this is why it's so good of different languages picking up different cultures and the kids learning all of this it's just brilliant you can only play hide and seek fred if you say it in turkish <laughs> so Lou's having fun as well. I don't think Luna's going to want to come back with us anymore. 
<laughs> so we just had dinner, literally just thrown together some kebab type burger buns. And uh, there was a, we were just sitting outside actually thinking about going to bed and packed everything away. And a Turkish man just come over and said he had some pears and can we make a deal because he hasn't got nothing for dinner. <laughs> Richie, like, this is a bit strange. So I'm back in making another kebab burger <laughs> for our new Turkish friend um, in exchange for a few pears. So I think this is just the randomness of Turkey. This is what goes on here. I have no idea if that's what he actually meant or whether he needed something to make something with dinner, but he's going to get a burger now, whether he likes it or not. So we got three pears. Hopefully he likes the burger in exchange. <laughs> he might not even like it. <laughs> They're so friendly. It's just so, so random. So I love it. This is like a dream, isn't it? He's, he's got a better end, better end of the deal there. I'd much rather a burger than these pears. But... <laughs> no, it's really nice. And it's nice that you can do things like that, isn't it? And he was a nice guy as well. We had a nice little chat out there for a while. Yeah. <laughs> We left the campsite this morning, time to move on today. Well, it's not, we could have stayed for another couple of days there, but it's getting a little bit boring. So we thought we'd have a change of scenery. We've just come to the supermarket to get a few more bits again, and we found a Turkish version of a meal deal. Look at this. <laughs> it's a little wrap in there. I'm not too sure what's in it. And the drink, I think it's called Aaron or something like that. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I've seen these a lot about in Turkey. So yeah, nice cheap meal deal, cheaper than Tesco's. 14.99 Turkish Lira, so about 75p. Unbelievable. So the wrap is a little bit plain and dry, very similar to a Tesco meal deal actually. And the, but the milk drink, I quite like it. Tastes a little bit like sour milk. It's quite nice though. I think I'll get used to that. What do you think? It's not really for me, but I don't really like milk that much, so. I don't think I would like it. She's not a milk drinker. <laughs> we then hit the road towards the coast, hoping to find a beach park up for a few days. Morning, guys. So we didn't end up staying at the beach yesterday. Um, we did head towards the, the coast. Um, and the coast, we did a boo-boo. We didn't mean to leave on a Sunday. We shouldn't have left on a Sunday um, because it seems like all the locals head towards the coast on the weekends. Um, so we couldn't even get a, a space anywhere to park. It was absolutely rammed. So we headed a little bit inland and we're at this nice lake, which is really pretty, picturesque. Um, not really many people around a couple of little locals just doing some wood chopping um so we had a really good night's sleep and today we are headed towards baloo um comes recommended on TripAdvisor, so we thought we'd have a take a look it's another lake park up um and there's quite a lot of restaurants and um quite scenic place to have a look at so we thought we'd take you along so at this park up once again loads of stray dogs but they're so friendly and lovely one of them, probably my favourite, is a little cutie. But I think he's been attacked because he's got bad ears, which ain't very nice. But loads of them again, and they're so friendly, they don't want us to go. And there's also a big sort of watchtower, which looks out over the lake. So I'm just going to run up there now quickly and show you the view from up there. The cutie crab. There's a white puppy up here. He's a cute It's looking good from up here as well. Good view from all angles. And we've also woke up to some friendly cows this morning. 
The local cows always seem to follow us around. Wherever we go, there's loads of cows. Look how happy this little one is. <laughs> uh, we love this little one. I think we might have to take her. <laughs> We've got no more room in the van. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> yes! Fred's getting kissed by all of them. That's it for this week, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Join us next week as we continue our journey along the Turkish Black Sea coast. And if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe.